Not exactly the best drinking bowl, is it, buddy? But we're still making uh, the terms and agreements of our friendship. Now, you know the day I give you food out of my hand, I can't exactly give you animals, can I? So what would you like? Hot chips? Seen you eating popcorn the other day. Hmm? Some vegan snacks. You ever tried vegan burgers? You listening to me? I said, have you ever tried vegan burgers? Vegan sausages, no? They're nice, you wanna try them? What's this fox's name, guys? How about a name for the fox? At the track. And the winner was, what's your name? Izzy. Izzy, surname? Clark. Congratulations, what was your time? I'm, I'm not sure, I think it was just under 17. Wow, so you I'm are sure. blistering. <laughs> yeah, well done, what's your session today? We're gonna do six lots of three minutes. Yes. Yeah. Um, 10 pace. Wow, so you just finished winning a 5K race like five, 10 minutes ago and you're gonna do some yeah, some intervals. I don't know if I'll stick to the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I might be jogging a bit. All right. That's the aim. Do it. Cool. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Please. <laughs> you? Yeah. What did you just finish just doing? Six minutes, 60 minutes easy. 60 minutes easy. Yeah. And Eight you're going to pace bit, easy now. A bit miles. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's see what Serpentine got. <laughs> <laughs> World Championships is on, people. World Championships is on. Oh, we got here. Morning. Don't recognize that runner. I wonder what he's running for. Is it Mo Farah's 5k race? I like the way I say Mo Farah's 5k race. <laughs> With fear in my voice. Five K park run going on in the background. Sorry, I'm not holding the camera steady. Hope Mo Farah uh, recovers well enough. And by recover, I mean from his injury he got from almost tripping over in the 10k race. I want to see a fresh pair of Mo Farah legs. No excuses. Usain Bolt is safely through. Yeah, so about a 1k, 1k interval this guy just done. Let's go see what Easy is up to. Allow me to introduce to you guys a new 
personality to my becoming my own champion series. Easy clock. You know what I notice about Easy Clark? She makes it look easy. Look at that technique. <laughs> Just finished winning this morning's 5k park run. You can see people still finishing on the side and she's on the track doing some, some intervals. And I first watched Easy Run when she was doing 5Ks in just under 20 minutes. And now, 16 highs. She just recently ran Funny with one of my arms. That's perfectly to... fine for me. It balanced. Don't don't let anybody change that. Do you think? I like the way your arms work. It works with your mechanics. Okay. Your coach, your new coach, is probably going to change it because <laughs> you're politically correct and they want you to run like a robot, <laughs> but you're not. I stick with how you run. Lee, what's for breakfast? Pie and mash. Yeah. Easy what's for breakfast. Breakfast of champion. Um, toast and rum Yeah. That's, and banana. That's my standby. What What did you have before today? Just a banana. Some Just banana. Squash. Yeah. Good, good. Representing Britain one day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say oh, that I spoke to you guys? I wish. <laughs> yeah. Video for it as well, that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> With me involved in it. Yeah. All the and best. with your advice of keeping my arms the same. You keep so. your arm right where it is. It works. Look at Gabriel Selassie's arm. Look at Michael okay. Johnson's technique. Yeah, Gabriel so Selassie swings his arm over this way. His coach never changed that. Coach never changed Michael Johnson's uh, upright technique. Don't let them change it. It's working. <laughs> Yeah. Then three of just pure carbo loading. Yeah. Like you can have other substances, but yeah. mainly carbohydrates. Yeah, that's um, what I'm doing now. Yeah, that, that's supposed to like double. Like, yeah. Because what I'm doing now is yeah. not having too much fruit and veg. Have yeah. a little bit, but normally I'd eat lots so, of fruit yeah. and veg as well as protein and carbs. Yeah. So now I'm like having a lot more carbs and not having too much stuff that can really upset your stomach. Yeah. yeah. So you're right. Definitely. But it's interesting to say that because I remember a few years ago. Everyone used to do that a lot of any carbs and then have loads. Yeah. They thought the body would be more receptive to them. Yeah, so yeah. it's supposed to like deplete all the stores. Yeah. And then like double back up again. Yeah. 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 So it's quite interesting. Yeah. I mean I've just gone with the sort of eating more carbs yeah. along with like reducing the training because your body's already loading because you're not using it up as well. So yeah, I think like the night before you need a really decent meal, but you don't want to overdo it, you need to make sure you do it for a few days. Yeah. And I've had sports drinks as well. So, yeah. yeah. Joe, what do you eat the day before, right? Um, I think mostly just pasta, a bit of chicken, a few veggies, you know, just, uh, but mostly like a load of pasta, and, um, a bit of chocolate as well. Like, I find that quite digestible, chocolate. You know, like it's, it's, when you eat it, it's quite good. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, I like the, uh, the giant chocolate buns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's big packets of giant chocolate buns, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then on the day of the race, I maybe just have a bit of porridge. But sometimes I have like a little bit of tuna as well to have a bit yeah, of porridge. Yeah, but at least you get it over and then it's with it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's like this. It makes it more sustainable. And then yeah. I usually have like a sports bar within the last two hours. So I just... Interesting, hey? I'm very interested in finding out what the best of the best eat. 
and how that relates to them on race day, how they perform on race day. So we have the high carb, low carb lot, the intermittent fasting. Yeah. One day you're eating high carb, next day you're eating low carb lot. And then come race day. <laughs> and then you got you got the former greats who say when I ask them. Uh, yeah, um, what foods uh, were you eating and did you find that any of the foods at the time were troublemakers? Which foods did you avoid? What was your staple diet? I'm coming all the way from Zimbabwe, so it's interesting for me. I can't honestly remember ever avoiding any food when I was running nearly 100 miles a week. Um, I think I always had what would generally describe as a fairly healthy diet and that I eat lots of vegetables. Um, but I, I just ate food, proper food. Um, quite, a, quite a bit of it because it, you go through a huge amount of energy trained at that intensity over a long period of time. Uh, but I did not have any specific diet at all, but I had a generally healthy diet. Um, I just ate real food. Um, there you are, that's the answer. <laughs> eat, eat real food, as, as much as you need, but McDonald's. not too much more. McDonald's? No, that isn't real food. <laughs> I'm talking about real food that, that, that would look like food to our distant ancestors. Eat that, you'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, it's an interesting, an interesting, uh, you know, story. I do obviously, you know, when Charlie is talking real food, we, I think, generally speaking, we should know what he means as well, because I agree, that's what I did. But I, I, I went to Lee Valley, um, I don't know how many years ago, it was four or five years ago, I think you was there, David, but, and um, they were talking about all the training I did, you know, 100, 100 odd miles a week. I did 100 odd miles a week, week in I went at work, I trained, I did all these things. And they said, oh, how did you find time to eat? And I said, well, it was planned, so I think, where I ate, I mean, where in terms of 20 minutes after training and things like that was, was equally as important. And I was like, Charlie, I ate real food. I pretty much didn't ever turn anything down, planned the diet, but planned when I ate. But there was a young lad there, because he, he, he told me that he would have a McDonald's on a Monday, a Chinese on a Tuesday, something else on a Wednesday, because he thought that was a balanced diet. So, you know, I hope you all know what a reasonably balanced diet is, and that was, I was thinking, how does this student afford that as well? But um, so, yeah, I ate real food, what we call real food, and um, I would just make sure that, you know, pretty low in. Um, I, I'd take. I would. I tended to around the time my really competitive days, I'd be. I kind of become a big fish eater because I felt fish was uh, high in protein and low in fats, and I felt that would be probably the best source of protein. So chicken and fish. Um, in with a really balanced diet was probably my main staple of a main course meal along with all the other things you have with it. But really, no real fats, and I think that's the important thing. I think uh, a good thing about running 100 miles a week is you can virtually eat what you like. And, uh, and that was the thing, I mean, I should eat lots and lots of food. Um, I think today, every street corner has got a fast food restaurant, hasn't it, or takeaway and that. And, and you know, I know the same as, as if we're all dinosaurs, but in her days there wasn't that, there was takeaways, but there wasn't many, you know, if you had a Chinese takeaway, it was a treat, it was, you I'd probably have to go to knowledge to get it, or something like that. But we didn't have, um, we didn't have um, fast food shops at every corner, and, and, and takeaways and whatever, and um, so we did eat, just, which I said, just ordinary, real good wholesome food, um, and running 100 miles a week, you can virtually get away with eating what you like, so that was great. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't think we thought about what we ate. I just think we ate it. And I think, again, we, we might have been from that generation where maybe our parents grew veggies. Um, it was healthy, so we had that, that foundation of, of eating well. I mean, certainly my parents did. You know, we, we drew, grew lots of veg. And that may well have, you know, been the foundation for, for how well I eat now. But I didn't think about what I ate, what it was put in front of me I ate. I was hungry. I'd ran, I was hungry, I just ate it. But it was good food. 
you know, we didn't have convenience foods then, and I, I do think, again, that's probably a contributing factor to what Charlie was alluding to earlier about why the generation today isn't is, is fit or is healthy, but we, we just ate well. And then you got the East Africans. I asked them, and they give me direct answers, man. Bang! It's high carb. What's your guys' diet? What you eat? Oh, we eat uh, pasta. How do they manage to keep their focus and their diet? Especially, you know, you got to keep your energy up. Yeah, no, they, they they bring some stuff from Kenya. Okay, what do they bring? Um, the usual, the usual food. Ugali. Uh, they bring some ugali. Yeah. Then, high carb, yeah. Yeah. Low fat. Lots, yes. <laughs> and they, uh, and uh, in the evening we go. Uh, sometimes we go out for, for for pasta or whatever. So. All right. Food. How's London food? Our food is uh, quite good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't have um, uh, ugali, you bring your uh, ugali. No. Yeah, ugali, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you eating? Rice. Rice. Irish. Spaghetti. But really? So in, uh, in Uganda, what would you eat before competition? Or? Ugali, ugali, of course. Ugali. Yeah. So yeah. when you find that you change your diet last minute, doesn't that affect you, your yeah, performance? It's affected, it's affected a bit. It affects a bit? Yeah, because you'll be used to uh, our food there. Then yeah. you come here, you find a different type of food. So it's affected a bit. So but why don't you bring your own ugali? I've got ugali. <laughs> I, I can cook it for you here. Yeah, we, oh we can get it prepared, you know. How is the, the food in, the, in London? It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you, um, you, you've got your ugali. No ugali. No ugali. Ah, no ugali. so what are you eating? Pasta, rice? Pasta, rice. Does it affect you? Or oh, you uh, perform better with ugali? I know we are used to this food. You used to this food? Yeah, because we have been here for long. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But uh, you eat a lot of carbohydrates, right? Yeah. And uh, low fat. Yeah, low fat. Very little meat. Yeah. Lots of fruit and vegetables. Exactly. That's amazing. That's why you are so slim and fast. <laughs> what you guys going to have to eat now? Uh, we go back to the hotel, have some uh -huh. um, Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to have at the hotel, so. We are going down directly to the jacuzzi. All right. On a normal day when you're back in your countries and training, what, what, what would you have to eat? What, what's a diet of a 5,000 meat and uh, steeplechaser? Yeah. Me, I eat a lot of vegetable stuff. Lots of vegetables. Uh, chicken and uh, fish. Yeah. Um, not that much meat, just once a week, maybe meat. Uh-huh. And uh, a lot of drink. That's a A lot of water. A lot of water. 70% of our body is water, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you afraid of sugar? Um, no, no. I'm originally from Somalia, so I... I <laughs> yeah. I drink a lot of sweet things. There like we go. Sweet. We have our sugar, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sugar, right? Yes. Sugar. Sugar for the win. And uh, Sweden, yeah. what do you eat when you're back home? I eat uh, a lot of uh, fish and pasta, actually. Pasta. Pasta, yeah. Pasta, spaghetti. Uh-huh. So lots of carbs. Lots of carbs. Lots of, uh, big, uh, green, green. Lots of greens, yeah. What, what would you stay away from? What are the bad things that you find slow you down? Uh, burgers. Burgers, yeah. yeah. Fast, food. Fast food. Uh huh. And you into the sweet tea and sugar as well, yeah. Donuts. I love donuts. Donuts. <laughs> I them. Yeah. I have always wanted. And sugar doesn't make you fat, does it? Uh, it doesn't. It's so hard. Nah. Yeah, sugar doesn't make you fat. You sugar gives you energy. I Elder Kipchoge, two flat marathon, I met him one time at a race. You know, he walks into the room, everyone else is eating whatever, and he walks into the room with a big bowl of rice and fruit after, his, after he just won the Boilermaker. And the reason I probably ask all these athletes what their diets are, or were, during their heydays, not only to find out what diet got them to the top of their game, I'm trying to nail a specific diet down to a T. There must be some common thread or common ingredient in all these diets. Not only that, I want to know a diet I can use if ever I had become an elite athlete. I want to know a diet I can use long after the races are over that will keep me healthy till the end of my days. Ow! Ouch! <laughs> Ow! Mm-mm. 
Come on, my brother. <laughs>